Robin in Deerfield, Illinois. A field of deer. Oh, I love this. the imagery. <laughs> Paul, I saw in one of your videos you were working on a new project at Octave called The Art of Bass. You said you had Chris design a new subwoofer system to add to the studio for the project. Can you tell us a bit more about this? Um, sure. First off, I was a little erroneous in, in what I said. So uh, when this whole project starts, so, so let me back up. At Octave Records, one of the things we're going to start focusing on is called the Art of Hi-Fi. And there are going to be a series of releases that focus on bass, soundstage, um, inner detail, uh, you know, et cetera. The things that we as audiophiles would love to have a reference disc that we can trust, that we know is going to be perfect. So when we say there's going to be the art of hi-fi bass, you better believe when you put this sucker on, you're going to hear bass now, and good music too, of course, but you're going to hear bass like you've never heard before. And so I just got excited about this whole idea of this specialized uh, project that we're going to do at Octave Records. And you'll see the results of the very first one will be the Art of Bass. We're recording it now. And then when we start to mix everything, I wanted to make sure that I had a DC to light system <laughs> for monitoring. As you know, at Octave Records, we have the FR30s in a special, very flat room. And the FR30s go down to 25 hertz, just darn low. But in any room, achieving that at a specific listening point is really hard. And to do that properly, you need a, a subwoofer that is somewhere different in position than the speaker itself. And one of the best places, not for the spouse necessarily, but for the ears, turns out to be near field, okay? So the problem with any kind of woofer is that it has the room to deal with and you could have the biggest woofer in the world set off into the corner and if you're getting standing waves that are stopping the bass, you won't hear it at certain frequencies and you'll get booming at other frequencies. One way around that is to go in the near field because if the speakers are fairly near to you, then the room doesn't interfere. And our engineer, Darren Myers, first demonstrated that to me and I've been a fan ever since. So yes, so I went to Chris and said, we're gonna do this project. I need you to build me the biggest, flattest, baddest ass subwoofer on the planet. And Chris said, oh, we can just order one. I don't have to build it. I'll build you the electronics and I'll tune it for you. But um, this is, a, look at this thing. This is a kit. And where did it come from? Uh, you can buy this kit yourself. Um, oh gosh, well, I'll try and put that in the show notes. It's one, one of the Mata Sound or Parts, Ex I think it's probably Parts Express, but you know, it's, it, it's a kit. And our sales guy, who's also a, uh, just a wonderful, dedicated speaker guy, Caleb, has taken on the commission of building these beasts. I mean, look at this sucker. I, and, oh, and one of the things when I said uh, I was erroneous, I had showed in an earlier video a set of, of woofers about that big. And I, when I went to Bob, I said, they're a little smaller than I had thought, but they're still very cool. And he goes, oh, no, no, no that was for my son. Your speakers are out here. And these are going to become, these are 21-inch woofers. I mean, my Lord in heaven. Hello. You see the bracing in here? Uh, Caleb did a spectacular job gluing every joint into this thing. The, we have this, this is a special little uh, chamber that goes in the back and that's going to hold the electronics so that we don't have any leakage on it. But yeah, this is, this is a set of subwoofers that I, they're going to go on each side of the mixing table at Octave Records. And 
Of course, they'll stay there, but we're making it specifically for this upcoming release of the, um, the Art of Hi-Fi base. And when will that be out? Uh, let me guess. What is Right now, we are near the end of August, and I'm going to guess probably October, something like that. Just look, I'll, I'll let you know. It's going to be really fabulous and something every audiophile on the planet should own. Seriously. I mean, it, it's going to be scary good. So, some of the tracks we've already done, and I can't wait to get these suckers installed. So, all right, there you go. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.